can I tell you my Taylor Swift story? Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, so um, recently Grace and I were shopping. Uh, she needed to go return something at a women's clothing store. And I went with her and I came right to the front door and I looked in and it was very girly. I was like, I'm not going in. I, I don't identify as a female, just so you guys, if you're wondering, I'm just gonna let you know. I don't identify as a female. So Grace is going, I'm like, honey, it's a very girly store. I'm not going in. There was a store down the way that had guy stuff. I'm like, I'm gonna go in there. Maybe they got the game on. You come get me when you're done. So I walk into the store with the guy stuff and there's a couple of young gals, teens or twenties, working there, very extroverted, very nice, very social, very fun. And they're, and they're talking they're like, hey, we love your shirt. I was like, oh, well, thank you. They're like, what brand is that? We've never seen that brand. I said, oh, it's a Taylor Stitch. They got very excited. Oh, oh, how did I not know that Taylor Swift is now making men's clothes? I was like, ah. So they're like, where did you order that? We need to get some Taylor Swift clothes for our boyfriends. My first thought was any guy who will wear a Taylor Swift shirt should be an ex-boyfriend. That's just my first thought. So anyways, I was like, no, I didn't say Taylor Swift. I said Taylor Stitch. I'm like, oh, they look at me. I kid you not. <laughs> One looks at the other. And then they look at me. They're like, are you a Swifty? <laughs> I have boots. I have a beard. I'm in my 50s. I have a perfect re record of unblemished heterosexuality. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm against pop music um, and the color pink. And so, you know, just, I am not the target market. And so I was like, they looked at me like, are you Swifty? I was like, I don't think so. They're like, do you know what a Swifty is? I was like, I'll be real honest. I'm not sure. I said, would you like to know? With all my heart. And so they're like, okay, there's this girl named Taylor Swift. She's really pretty. She has a lot of ex-boyfriends. We really identify with her. We follow her on social media. We like all of her posts. We go to all of her concerts. We travel around the country and we just celebrate her. I was like, yeah, I'm not a Swifty. So for those of you young ladies, since we picked on the young men and we believe in equality, which is offending everyone at some point in a sermon, <laughs> let me ask the young women, who is Taylor Swift dating? Some would say Travis Kelsey, that's the wrong answer. Here's the right answer, who cares? That's the right answer, okay? That's the right answer. <laughs> okay? There's a ministry team standing by. Send your complaints to hello at realfaith.com. The delete ministry is happy to serve. Nonetheless, who cares what Taylor's doing? Care about what you're doing. Don't care about her love life. Get yourself a love life. And don't wake up every day and try to figure out how to generate more revenue for her. Generate some revenue for you. That's the difference between being busy and being a busy body, amen? Hey, howdy, Pastor Mark here. Thanks for viewing the clip. And if you'd like the entire sermon, we've got it ready to go. 